Welcome to another Part 1 IELTS speaking video, this time on the topic of wildlife. Here I will present you with four questions with Band 9 model answers to this topic. Here are the four questions for the topic of wildlife. Did your school teach you about wildlife? Where is the best place to see wildlife in your country? Is there a country you would like to visit that has interesting wildlife? Do you like watching TV documentaries about wildlife? Now, let's see some Band 9 model answers to these questions. Question 1. Did your school teach you about wildlife? Yes, I learned a little bit about wildlife from attending school. In the early years of primary school, we learned about identifying animals and the regions that they came from. Later on, we learned about some more advanced topics, such as life cycles and conservation. Where is the best place to see wildlife in your country. I think the best places to see wildlife are in national parks, since these areas are uninhabited by people. Various types of wildlife are able to flourish. When I last visited a national park, I saw an amazing array of plants and creatures, including wildflowers, deer, and frogs. Those are just a few examples. Please note that pet animals and zoos are not considered as wild animals because they are captive animals and no longer live in wild nature. Is there a country you would like to visit that has interesting wildlife? The first country that comes to my mind is Australia. It is a sparsely populated country that is blessed with unique flora. I'd love to get close to a cute and cuddly koala bear or see kangaroos hopping about. A less well-known example of what I'd like to see there is a wombat, which I heard can be friendly to people. Do you like to watch TV documentaries about wildlife? Actually, when I feel stressed, I enjoy tuning in to watch wildlife documentaries. Although I'm at home, watching them sort of provides me with an escape to nature. Listening to natural sounds and watching how strange animals interact with each other are just a couple of examples of what makes me content. Here is an IELTS speaking tip that can help you to improve your fluency and coherence score. Did you know that FC, or fluency and coherence, makes up 25% of your IELTS speaking score? If you wish to get a high score, like in band seven or higher, you will need to provide full responses, that means developing your answers and giving more than one sentence. And you should also try to do it pretty easily without stopping too much or hesitating or pausing. And one way to do this effectively is by using examples. This will, of course, extend your responses and show that you have also a wider range of lexical resource. That means vocabulary and phrases. And don't just repeat the same ways of using examples like, for example, for example, for example. Try to use some of the different ways that were shown in the previous answers that were highlighted in green color. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.